Well, hi friends, uh, James Lewis here with our Kids Pastor Vish Patton. Uh, excited to be talking to you about our daily devotions. We're, uh, as we've been sort of signaling, we're going to pivot, we're going to tweak uh, towards something we're calling the race. Um, James, hold for a sec. Yeah. The race, wh what is that about? Are we going to race through the whole Bible real quick? Unpack that for us. Yeah, no, the surprise if you can get through. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> No, we, the reason we're calling it the race is we love this verse in Hebrews uh, two, uh, 12. It says, uh, verse 2, uh, end of 1, uh, And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Uh, and so we love the idea of God's people being on a race together, uh, serving Jesus. It's a long haul. Uh, it's a marathon. Yeah. Uh, and we want to keep on reading God's word and growing together and sharing in that as a church. So that, that's why we're calling it the race. Great. Mm. And the way that we're going to do that is using uh, the Swedish method, which many of you are familiar with. And it's really simple, and more info will come in the coming weeks. Uh, but there's four symbols. Uh, and the first one is a light bulb, which is to ask the question of what stands out for you? Uh, the second one is a question. What questions sort of arise as you're reading this passage? Um, third one is the heart. Uh, what are you feeling as you read this? Mm. And the last one is an arrow, uh, which is thinking about what you're going to do with this. But more importantly, James, it's more thinking about what are you going to pray about what you plan to do? So all of these are just little prompts to help us fix mm. our eyes mm. on Jesus and mm. follow him. Yeah, I know uh, a number of our community groups have been using the Swedish method during this time. We train uh, leaders in that and just, uh, yeah, I've used it a number of times myself. Really helpful, easy way to get into God's Word together. Yeah, James, elephant in the room, you have yeah. four boys. Yeah. Um, you're a professional pastor, minister. You'll probably nail this or it could be a, a car crash or a comedic routine. For you and Jane, who are hoping just to open up the Bible, um, how are you planning... Yeah. As you do this with your kids. Uh, so, yeah, to be honest, uh, our de family devotions in the past have been more down the kind of uh, comedy uh, car crash end. have been a bit of a struggle with uh, boys of varying ages. Um, but we are thinking this is an opportunity to, to kind of reset and have another crack at it uh, yes. together. And, and also bearing in mind that there are going to be times when, um, when it just doesn't work. And yeah. you think, what are we doing? But I, I do love the idea of not so much one particular devotion and one passage that really helps us as a family, but just that pattern um, yeah. as individuals, as households, of just being in God's Word daily and, and doing that as a whole church right, totally. together. I love that idea and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Mm. I think for the, for the creatives among us, there's a good opportunity to recognise we're all made different. We all see and experience and learn differently as well. And so... Um, there might be a good opportunity for someone to read or write or imagine or draw or whatever that is, whatever age or stage, let's get creative as we mm. open up God's Word and allow Him to speak to us. Yeah, yeah. So friends, uh, we're excited about it. The more details coming uh, soon as we begin and kick this off, beginning of Term 3 together. Stay tuned. Uh, God bless you and see you soon. Bye.